Welcome back everyone, I'm Kalani, this is World Drum Club, and I've got a Rikio 22-inch uh, 9-note hand pan that I'm going to show you uh, in this video, and you just heard it. Um, there's some amazing things about this hand pan that, uh, yeah, I don't know if you'll believe it, but believe it. <laughs> so I just got this uh, from the company, and I want to thank them for making it available to me so I can demonstrate it for you. Let's go to the overhead and I want to show you some of the features real quick. Now, it's called a hand pan. I just was playing this with these little rubber mallets and it comes with these little mallets. And I've got to say that even though I am a hand percussionist and we usually play these with our hands, and I'll show you that too, I'm pretty impressed with the sound of playing it uh, with these little mallets. I'm pleasantly surprised. So you can play right in the little dimples or just on the sides. And this uh, instrument is a D minor type scale. It starts uh, the low note is D, and then um, it goes D, A, B flat. I'm, I don't have all the notes memorized, but it basically goes B flat, C, uh, D, E, F. And I believe the top might be G. Uh, but it's a, it's a D minor scale, but it's got a little bit of an exotic sound because of this relationship. minor second kind of uh, feeling. Anyway, it's got a kind of exotic sound, but it's actually fairly friendly when you, if you want to play with the other instruments. Um, the thing that's amazing about this instrument is that it's priced at about a quarter of what a typical handmade hand pan, like the typical hand pans that are out there, uh, and you can check pricing. Um, but, you know, as of the making of this video, the average hand pan is starting around $2,000 and it might go up a little, might be down a little, but it's around $2,000 plus. And this is, um, like I said, about a quarter of that. And I'll leave the link below. I'm not selling these, but I just want you to know that it's pretty amazing what they've managed to do here. This is a made in China and it's, you know, I don't know exactly the process, but they put this laser engraving and you can see this decoration. Uh, this is the stainless steel one, just the plain one. Um, or what they call, yeah, just steel finish. There's a couple other finishes. But listen again. It's the ding center note. comes with a stand. It's like a little triangular. You can go to the website and see. Um, comes with mallets, a little cloth. I think, you know, does it sound, is it, does it sound as great as some of the best handmade hand pans on the market? No. I, I was talking to my wife last night and I said, you know what, this instrument is, is a, it's like buying a cheaper ukulele. You can buy a decent, inexpensive ukulele now that's amazing, sounds great, for under, you know, 100 bucks. Um, I've got ukuleles that are $1,200. Yeah, they sound great, but I'm not going to take it on a trip. I'm not going to take it on a road trip. That, you know, that one stays at home. Um, this is in a similar category. It's, you know, it's, it's apples and oranges, and sometimes 
you want an apple, sometimes you want an orange. So at the price point, I, I'm just super impressed with this instrument. I will definitely use this. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great sound. I think it's a great entry level hand pan, uh, which, you know, for, for those of us who have wanted to play hand pan, those of you, uh, up until this point, I think with the introduction of some of these Chinese made hand pans, it just gives you more options. So you can check it out, like I said, the link's below, but I, I'm okay with it. I'm pretty impressed with this instrument, I've got to be honest. Um, you can leave uh, your comments below. What do you think of the sound, given the price, you know, and the size and the configuration and everything? So, uh... Oh, I said I was going to play with my hands. So I'm going to go out uh, playing with my hands here to give you a sample. Thank you for tuning in to World Drum Club. I'm going to play a little bit more, um, but uh, as always, like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications. See us at patreon.com slash Kalani. Check it out over at kalanimusic.com if you want to send me an email or something. Uh, I'm also on Facebook and not really anywhere else online. Uh, but uh, thanks for dropping in, and I'll see you all soon.